Hey guys, what's up? It's Quentin Drew here. So this is probably going to be a really quick box here. This is box number 17 here. Um, I didn't find too much in this box, but it did get a lot of nice finds, I will tell you that. Uh, no silver, unfortunately, but hey, it's definitely a box um, that's worth making a video on, because of course I'm making videos on every single box that I'm doing um, yearly. This is box number 17, like I said. And uh, let's get started here, guys. Um, like I said, no silvers, but um, I got some questionable coins. Um, and I did get that one coin right there. That one's a thing that I bought on a Facebook auction for a dollar free shipping. Um, the guy couldn't identify it, and I couldn't identify it um, until I did a little bit more research, and I ended up finding that it's part of a presidential series. Um, and I'll explain that later. And there's a very cool thing about this. It's actually an error, and I'll we'll talk about that um, in a bit. But to start off, we got a 2001 um, plane. Um, just dying. This wasn't a nickel roll. But that was funny. Um, also, there is another dime over there. That was from um, the winter hunt that I did when I cashed in my 125. Um, I did get dimes, but I didn't find any silver. But I did find a nice date, and it was just on an ender of the roll. I noticed it, so I figured, hey, um, why not? Uh, I've got four MADs, uh, Miss Aladdin Dies, or Mads if you want to call them that. Um, this one, pretty off center, or misaligned. Um, like I said, it's, it, technically you can't call them off center, even though they are. Um, the real off centers um, affect both sides of the coin. Um, MADs or misaligned dies only affect one side. Usually it's the obverse, and this one's a pretty big one. Um, too bad it's, it's uh, about an AU or an XF. Um, got this 99. These uh, 98, 99, 2000s are pretty notorious to have. Um, misaligned die problems so you'll see a rim usually on the left or right side <clears throat> excuse me uh, got a 1984 my throat's becoming a little bit dry uh, 1984 another misaligned die with a double collar not really worth anything but pretty cool that has a double collar um, and then we get a 2000 there that one's um, misaligned also on the left side there and um I didn't notice that. That's probably paint. So I might actually not keep this one because it just has paint on it or whatever. Um, not a scratch or anything. Not like the thing is peeling away or anything like that. Not like the plating's peeling off. Uh, I got a 60D small date. Really happy with that one. And a 71S. Uh, whoops. I think these were both on the same roll. I could be wrong though. Um, got the weird coins. Um, got this uh, 1950D right there. Or no, scratch that. That's a um, that's a shield nickel right there. Um, totally. Um, no, it's it's some really beat up 1990s um, Jefferson. Just looking by the striking of it, you can kind of tell how it would have the striking of either a 2006, seven, or eight, um, or the striking of a uh, 98 through 2003. No, through 2001, I believe. Because um, the uh, reverse um, relief kind of changed and uh, they made small edits to the detail. Which are kind of noticeable if you do a lot of coin roll hunting like I do. Um, and uh, the date would either be up there or it would be at the bottom if it was a 2006, 7 or 8. Um, but the rule will never ever know. so um, Or it would be like right down there. Um, even if it was like say for for example like a 2009 nickel I would obviously talk to, toss it back um, Absolutely worthless other than barely a nickel um, Got this 1970 thought it was approved to begin with um, you can see my reflection on it and some corrosion on it surface corrosion discoloration Like I said thought it was approved, but then I realized it has a Denver mint mark so it's been either highly polished or Plated with something, I really have no idea. Um, I thought that was unique. It has this like sticky tape on it, or glue on it, probably glue. Um, I don't want to know what that was plated, and probably silver plate, or something else, or chrome plated. I mean, I know probably chrome plated. Uh, probably a science experiment with all that glue on there. Uh, I got a 54D, might be an over an S or something, or D over D um, RPM. Of course, it doesn't want to focus. There we go. Then we got some Canadians. I was pretty happy with this. We got a 12-sided 1957 nickel. 
Um, I need a 56 for my book, so if anyone has a 56 young head portrait, um, no scratches, please. Um, XF to AU plus, no problems. Um, just throw me a message or an email, coinhuntingdrew at gmail.com. Um, we got a 62 young head and a 99 Canadian that's uncirculated. Probably just going to toss it back. Um, got a bunch of wheat pennies. Uh, the oldest one, really happy with this, pre-1940, 1930 plane. Um, just noticed the E is a little bit gone there. Probably just postman. Oh, there's a 40, 42, 46, 48, 50D, 50S, nice date, 50D, or 52D, 52D, 53D, 56D, and a 58. So, a 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12 wheat pennies. Not bad. Uh, 39, um, Jefferson. Uh, got a 40D, nothing major. Uh, and we got a 47S, I believe. Um, with uh, rolling marks on the obverse of it right there swirls sucks but oh well um, got a uh, I think this is a 2014 yeah 2014 cent uh, has a die crack up there I hope you guys can see that line that goes from the rim to the shield there that is a die crack um, a second here Focus. Yeah. Well, you guys can kind of see it, I guess, right? Or, or not. Kind of looks like the sun right now. There we go. Yeah, so it goes from the tip down. Very nice, though. Usually, you don't often see die cracks in coins like so um, that are post-2002. Because they, um, they fixed a lot of the dies and stuff. Uh, this 1997 looks like a double ear. You guys tell me what you think on that one. JD, any ideas? Of course, now it's going to blur out. Um, I swear, this camera does have some flaws to it. Um, when you zoom past 7x, um, it will kind of go out, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Uh, so, yeah, look at the ear, I'm not sure. Um, and then you got a uh, 2009 Denver uh, nickel. This is a dime I said I found. Um, got a 2009 plane. Um, and we're actually going to grab something. I'm going to go grab the tube. Um, and I've never put a dime in here before on the video, so I figured this will be interesting. So take the, these are the two dimes that you always see. Um, and we'll make that three dimes and put the nickel in. And then um, put this back in. I probably should, you know, if, if these coins were uncirculated, I would never, you know, just throw them in. I do them individually, but. Since they're circulated, or you know, low uncirculated, um, I just kind of did that. Um, this was a really nice find. Um, 1955 plane, really happy. Um, Semi key of the series, 8 million minted. Uh, second or third lowest mintage of the uh, 50s. Um, very nice. I did find this nickel here, and um, I posted a picture of it onto a Facebook group, and they said it was AU58 plus. Um, might be close to uncirculated. Um, I know through the camera kind of looks like it's been worn. It might be an AU. It's probably just an AU. Um, it's a 41. And really decent shape. There's actually some steps, I believe. Yeah, really nice condition. So I'll probably replace that with the one that's in my book. And then this is the token that I bought for a dollar. Um, no one had any idea what it was, like I said. Um, I found it. I found it um, on eBay. Well, a similar one, like a Dwight Diaz and Howard one. Um, this is George and Martha Washington, President, First Lady, and then we flip it over. 1789, Liberty and Security. Um, 1789 to 97. That was the years that they were in office for. And if you look up Liberty and Security, you'll see this exact same reverse on some colonial coins. Now the twist. Um, the thing that I didn't notice until I actually received the coin in the mail. This is actually a major clash die where it actually appears, both sides of it, of the coin, appear on the, um, but basically the reverse appears in the obverse, obverse on the reverse. You look right there, you look very carefully, I'm not sure if my camera will pick it up, but you can see it. Um, but you can see that leaf coming out of um, Martha's uh, chin right there, right? If you flip it over exactly, that's um, that's that right there. Um, so it did clash on that side, 
and there's some other things in the fields like right down there then you flip it over and you can see the outline of um, George and Martha right there you see that outline there very faint on that side but right by the uh, U in security you can see the outline and I think if you look very closely you can see their nose um, somewhere over here I think it's like right there you can definitely see the clashing though so very cool clash die token I don't think I've ever seen a clash die token because they're usually made by third parties and oftentimes they um, usually it's air free basically it doesn't have a lot of errors or anything or a lot of flaws so very interesting um, probably about a five or ten dollar coin um, so not a bad picture or purchase so yeah guys thanks guys for watching happy hunting and I will see you guys later